Hey guys, so it seems like in every single convention, this is MagicCon Chicago, people rent cars or they take their car and they leave a backpack in their visible. Here you can see the backpack was left probably if I had to guess based on where the window was broken in the back seat. The backpack has a pin to identify that there may be magic cards in it. Uh, Shocking, I, I know, like, when you take a backpack to your local game store for Friday Night Magic or pre-release, uh, it's pretty obvious what's inside the backpack, right? It's got to be magic cards. I mean, it's either empty or magic cards. It's probably not a uh, laptop given the time of night. So this happened in Magic Con Chicago. Uh, luckily for him, I mean, I guess this is very unlucky, but at least he has cards that are unique. Uh, many times people will have cards that are absolutely, like, you know, dual lands and so on. They're very fungible. It's uh, very difficult to tell what one card is from another and who owns what. But in this case, he does have unique cards. Now, this is probably a nightmare for anyone. Someone smashed and grabbed my rental, stealing my backpack containing eight decks, two artist proofs, and a unlimited Mox Pearl. I'm currently filing a report on the theft, but here are photos of the backpack and some of the items stolen if anyone sees someone selling these. And then he has uh, the items, which are relatively unique. This is the backpack. He says that there's only really that pin on the top left. So we have a, a situation. It's a very common situation. You're in a new city. You're traveling. You're going to a event. There are a lot of people going to be at this event. I think a lot of the comments were suggesting, oh, you know, they might have thrown the magic cards out. Um, and the try. I, I doubt it because of just how many magic players are at the event. And even if you saw them throw it in the trash can, I mean, wouldn't another magic player be like, oh, now it's mine? Like, you have to understand, when you go to a magic event, uh, there are going to be a lot of thieves. I remember the Odin days when I used to play, there used to be a gang, and that's what they were. They were a gang of individuals. They would follow people to the bathroom. You can actually go on, I don't know, if, like, I think it was like a Star City article or something. Like, there was actually, uh, this This is real life, guys. Uh, they would follow you to the bathroom, and why they're following you to the bathroom is because there's no cameras in the bathroom, right? So no one knows what happens, um, and they would... You know, notice, uh, so they would actually follow, they would basically look at what type of cards you have. So if you have like a vintage deck and it was worth two, three thousand dollars, four thousand, I mean, prices were a lot different back then. Then they would uh, follow, one person would stand outside, the other person would come in the bathroom with you. They would wait until you're going to the bathroom, probably just peeing, and uh, they would punch you in the face. So, you're basically going to wet yourself, and then uh, they would steal your backpack. So you're kind of in this ray. And then there would be uh, the other person at the door serving as like a watch guard to like, you know, shout, oh, somebody's coming, don't do it. Or they would come in the bathroom, prevent it if like somebody was coming in. So this was a pretty effective way to steal cards because, um, like I said, you don't have it on camera. You don't really know what goes in the bathroom and the victim uh, there's no one coming into the bathroom, and the victim is, you know, they're just trying to go to the bathroom, so they're completely in shock and dismay, and also they're punched, maybe even knocked out, right? Uh, this continued on for many, many Star City games. I don't remember what it was, but I do remember that in Richmond, this was back when I was in law school, uh, I used to go with this uh, news reporter guy. It was like a student. He was trying to be a news reporter. And we used to go there. And we actually had that happen at the convention center where we were at. And it was kind of a, a bigger deal. So back to uh, stealing backpacks. And at least no one gets injured this way. So that's the positive, right? Is um, The negative is the guy obviously is out a lot of money. It can be very, very difficult to still enjoy magic as a game when you have lost all that money. And let me be 100% frank, it's not his fault. And in the comments, you know, there's a debate, hey, could you be more careful? Could you put it in the trunk? I would say, um, yeah, put it in a trunk. The trunk is a lot safer, but um, 
the one thing I've always said, you can go back and not trying to victim blame him, is do you really need nine ED8 stacks? Do you really need five, four? You don't need to bring your entire collection. I know that this is, you know, a really cool place to show off your fret, but like, why are you showing off? It's the same thing with a trade binder that like nothing in the trade binder is for sale. You're only really presenting yourself a risk. And in my opinion, um, this is again, my personal opinion, too many people bring too many different cards that they don't actually need at that facility. This isn't your home. This isn't your friend's home. This is a random place with a lot of random people. Many of them may have criminal backgrounds, right? We know magic players have often have been criminal backgrounds, right? For assault and so on. So is it a good idea um, to bring this many decks? And you might be like, oh, he's got 90 decks. Well, I don't think so. Um, I think when people go to these events, they want to impress I see a lot, you know, obviously I have a large collection. I don't bring anything I want to trade. My trade binder looks like probably less than a thousand dollars of stuff in it. There's just like basic lands and standard most times. Because if I go to Friday Night Magic, I don't need to bring like eight, eight, eight ten EDH decks, right? I get it. It's Magic Con. Maybe you want to play different decks and so on, but maybe play like a few decks um, and enjoy the event that way. Now, uh, that would not preclude, obviously, the person breaking in and trying to steal your backpack. Um, there's really no protection against that on, like, if you're putting your backpack in the car because you're not watching the car. Maybe you go out to eat with dinner with friends. And this is kind of um, the, the, the reality of being a Magic the Gathering player or traveling for these events. You don't control the circumstances and you don't control the people around you. You can only control what you can see. And I remember back in the olden days, you would wrap your backpack around your chair, but then they would just like open the zip, your, <laughs> zip the backpack. I, I, I hate to say this to you, but a lot of Magic players, I mean, they're, they're not good people. They're not good people. They're not business owners. They're not good employees. They're like unemployed McDonald's and Taco Bell workers. And when presented, you know, if you're working at Taco Bell here in Houston for seven twenty-five an hour, you're presented with what? You know, an opportunity to steal a seven thousand dollar backpack. It's gotta be attractive to you, right? Um, and then also in many cities like Chicago, like uh, Los Angeles, like San Francisco, like Seattle, stealing is just kind of the norm. You know, I see these videos of people in California and they just walk into your CVS and they just walk out and no one stops them. No one says, I saw a video in Las Vegas about Apple Store. So in the morning, Tim Cook takes a photo of the Apple Store employees in Las Vegas. And then at 12 o'clock, they get robbed. And then at 6 o'clock, they get robbed again. And the Apple employee, none of them are doing things kind of dangerous, right? Um, we live in a culture where uh, people do steal and they don't steal. They steal with no consequences. I, I do hope the guy's caught. I'm almost certain it is a magic player. Um, when you see the pin, like no one's stealing no one's laptop. Everyone has like tracker and auto. Like the idea, you steal like an iPad or a phone. Like it's so stupid. You just track it. I, I mean, you, I, it's so obvious, right? You just track it to where someone stole. It's probably some dude at the convention. I would even say, you know, like in the future, maybe put like an Apple iTag. It's like three dollars, three of them for twenty dollars. Um, I mean, like. If they did throw it in the garbage, it's really easy to recover. You can, uh, you're gonna save yourself a lot of hassle with the Apple iTag. It's kind of weird. You could probably track people with it too. If you, it's, it's a weird device. Put it that way. Bye, guys.